hello lovelies welcome back to my channel on today's video we're we'll making this beautiful top with adire and satin to our subscribers we want to say thank you and if you haven't subscribed please like and subscribe to our youtube channel god bless you yeah. i'll be using these two yards of Adire fabric and with this brighter satin so i'll be keeping the satin aside and folding our fabric into four places then i'll start marking it's just normal way of doing a line dress i'm going to put the link on the description on how to achieve your a line dress you mark your chest line your waistline and the place you want your dress to stop or the top then insert your neckline. So I use three inches for the depth and three inches for the wideness. Then I went ahead and inserted my shoulder and came down by one inch and connected it. So after connecting it this way, you will find the midpoint and mark the half an inch and connect it. But before connecting it, you add your bust measurement. So after adding my bust measurement, I connected it to the arm O. Then I went ahead and inserted my waist measurement. So you divide your bust by four and add two inch or one and a half inch. I did the same thing for the waist. I divided it by four and added two inch to it. So after marking your waist and connecting it to your chest, you come up by two inch. And after coming up by two inch, you give it a slant effect for the A-line. So if you are just making an A-line dress, this is perfect for you. But if you are not, if you are doing this style, you have to obviously cut it to have that design. So cut out the front and the back together. Then we are going to separate it. But before separating it, we have to open up the fabric so that we'll be able to get the design for the top okay so you take your tape and you mark what i did was i used 12 inches for mine you can use two inches you can use three you can use 13 15 inches it depends on how you want it to be so i used 12 inches and i marked it from that 12 inches i connected the slant to the tip of the other part of the dress so you have to be very careful when connecting it so that you'll be able to have that design so i connected it this way and i cut it out after cutting it out i went ahead and cut the front neckline so you have to just open it and remove the back from the front okay so you separate it you see the half you see how it looks you see the design of the triangle effect okay so you fold your fabric into two and you mark go in on the shoulder by one inch or one and a half inch then i came down by five inch i was trying to look for the perfect one for it either four inch or five inch so i had to i was indecisive but i ended up using five inch for mine so after doing that you come in by one inch and you connect it to the other one inch that you had on your shoulder and cut it out so after cutting it out you are going to notch that point that you have that one inch notch it and we'll be cutting the front neckline and also the design for the bottom part of the dress or top okay so you take the total measurement and you cut out the design for the bottom part and the neck okay so you mark and it depends on how you want it to be after taking your total measurement mark the length you want it to be i used 12 for mine and it was way way bigger so mark the desired length and the total of the measurement then stitch the sides together and aim it you have to aim it before you join it to the top or the dress okay so keep it aside and cut the collar for the front i used eight inches that's four inches i had to cut for two dresses so 
I use 8 inches and I'm just going to divide it into two for the two dresses. So 4, 4 inch for each of the dresses. That is how wide it was. After cutting it, I use my stay to iron on top of it. Okay. So what you are going to do is you are going to iron your stay on top of the collar and stitch the bottom so i'm done stitching the bottom part and this is how it looks it was way bigger and i cut it later but i didn't show it on the video so you go ahead and attach the collar for your dress when arranging it make sure it touches the tip and let it be longer underneath it okay so stitch both sides together, pin it up and stitch it and I'm going to show you how it looks after stitching. This is it after stitching. Can you see it? After you stitch it up, you are going to notch it to that part that I notched earlier. So you do the same thing on both sides. After notching it, you flip it over to the back side. I have made videos, two tutorials on how to do this. So I'm going to explain also on this one. Then cross it and fold it in and you are going to stitch it this way. You see this um, front, that midpoint, just stitch it together. So I'm going to pin the excess and so that you're able to see what I'm talking about. So just be very careful. If not, you are going to stitch it more than once. Okay, so you see what I'm doing. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Stitch it up. Be very, very careful, guys, because if you are not careful, you end up having gathers at that midpoint, and that's not what we want. We want it to be very straight stitch. Okay, so I'll go ahead and stitch it and show you how it looks. This is it after stitching. So I'm cutting out the excess fabric and align everything together. Then I went ahead and cut out the interfacing for the back the lining for the back and i made it very small you are going to weave it when you are done or you can just use hemming gum to fold it for it to be neat so turn your back neckline you stitch and you double stitch then we'll be using the collar for the back to turn the front okay the front shoulder so pin it up and stitch it then i will show you how to use the back to turn the front we are going to stitch the shoulder to shoulder and we'll be using the back interfacing for the turning okay so you are going to fold it in by flipping it okay so it's going to have that the front is going to be in between okay so it's just going to be in between the lining piece and the main piece of the back so you pin it up and you are going to stitch it that is what you are going to use when you open it up after stitching it's very very neat it's very very professional so do that stitch both sides together and i'm going to show you how i look this is it after stitching so what you are going to do is you are going to just turn it and you see the inside is very neat okay so you are going to weave every other part that you've stitched okay to have a very neat work and this is the front this is the back also we are done with the neckline so you take your fabric and attach this sleeve so for the sleeve of this dress is like puff sleeve and the same method i stitch my puff sleeve that is what i'm going to do for the sleeve so you gather the bottom or with elastic and you are going to just have that elastic band and you use elastic thread for the upper part of the sleeve and attach both to both sleeves to your dress so i'm going to show you after i'm done with the gathers i finished gathering the sleeve and this is how it looks i use the half an inch for the bottom and i use the elastic thread for the upper part okay so the half an inch was in between for the bottom why the elastic thread was for the upper part so you are going to pin it up to the sleeve and attach it on both sides after attaching it you'll be joining the sides together so from the sleeve you join it down to the hem line of your dress so i'll do that and show you how it looks when i'm done stitching 
this is how the dress looks after stitching i've joined the sleeve and i've joined it together so this is how it is thank you so much guys thank you for watching today's tutorial and to all subscribers we want to say thank you and if you haven't subscribed please like and subscribe to our youtube channel bye guys <music>